The first computer program we've developed is based off the first learning kit. The same letters, the same words. So when a child's just at that age when they're ready to use a computer, we have a computer program that again reinforces the same information that's in the first learning kit. You, if a child's very young, then the, that we, we, we sell the, the learning kits with the videotape, audio tape, and books as a unit. The computer program can be uh, purchased separately because your child may not be ready for a computer yet. Now, let me show you what this computer program does. It's very exciting and we've just developed it. And here's exactly what it does. The computer program starts first by displaying your child's name, your phone number, and your street address. Important information for your child to learn. Also, this personalizes the computer, pro computer program. It makes it your child's program, and therefore I'm a little more interesting to them. Now, either by pressing the space bar, any key, or clicking on the mouse, it will launch into a title screen, and then it will say what day of the week it is, and then go into a main menu. 20 minute tutor. Saturday. Today is Saturday. Here's our main screen and the first thing to look at is to note is the arrow. The arrow is very large. Good feedback, feedback for your child. And the other thing is that in the upper left hand corner is a clock. The only purpose of this clock is to let you know that there is a time limit for this computer program to run. It runs only for, 20, for about 20 minutes. And we're not timing your child. All we want to do is we want this program to shut down in a short period of time. See, we want to make this program interesting to your child over weeks and months. If we don't have a timer in this, they will get very interested in it, but they'll they'll lose interest after uh, a number of hours. They will actually saturate saturate themselves on the program, uh, and rather than having it interesting over a number of days, we want to keep it interesting over weeks and months. So that's why the timer is there. That's the, the only purpose. Now the next thing on the screen, the Anytime that the arrow is moved over any of these buttons, it's going to highlight the button and then say what that word is. A, B, C. Today, dictionary, keyboard. Four words. Puzzle. Artist Michael Johnson. All done. So even if your child does not know what these words are, the program tells them what it is. Now, we have seven small programs here with different levels of difficulty. Now the very first and easiest is the ABC program. A, B, C. Move the mouse arrow in the box or press the space bar. So for this small program either one of two things will get it to, uh, to animate and that would be to move the arrow into the box your child does not have to even click, just move the arrow into the box or press any of the keys on the, on the keyboard. But I'll move the arrow into the box and you'll see what happens. A. A. Pull. Apple. Apple. This time I'll just press, press the space bar. B. B us bus bus and what this small program is doing is it's saying what the letter is takes the word an associated word breaks it down phonetically and then we give a uh, drawing of what the word represents by the way these letters and these words are the same letters and words that we have in our first learning kit. So 
using the first learning kit where we have books and audio tapes and videotape this computer program augments that very well and these this information that they've learned in the learning kit helps them then understand this computer program but now we'll go back to the to the main menu and we're going to do the today program uh, what this will do it says what today is it says what yesterday is and what tomorrow is today Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Saturday. Yesterday was Friday. Tomorrow is Sunday. So the Today program helps with your child, uh, helps your child understand the days of the week what today is, what yesterday was, and what tomorrow is. The next part of the small program here is the dictionary. Dictionary. On this page, when we move the arrow around, it's going to highlight what the word is. And then, if we click on the, the word, it will launch into a, uh, a sentence. Bus. A bus takes children to school. Now what's fun about this program is that your child can just move the arrow over any of the words and it will s the computer program will say what that word is. A bus takes children to school. So again, this is feedback for your child. If they don't know what a word is, the program will tell them. Children we click on back it now that word is gone and a picture takes its place that's the dictionary program the next program is keyboard and when you think about it to learn all the complexities of a computer the keyboard in particular it's very difficult for a child so uh, what we're going to do is introduce your child to the letters and where they're laid out on the uh, keyboard because they're not in the logical order that you learn the ABCs. They're uh, all over the uh, keyboard. So what we're going to do is go alphabetical but then display where those letters are. We are also going to show the capital letter which is the letter which is on the keyboard then we'll show the lowercase so again your child gets some feedback that uh, that letter represents both a capital and a small letter and then we're going to give an associated word keyboard click on a letter or press the letter on the keyboard a b c d e f g h I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So now we have the letters of the alphabet as they appear on the keyboard and your child can interact with this program in one of two ways either by clicking on the letter or pressing the letter on the keyboard B B bus bus the letter disappears a picture takes its place we'll do one more this time I'll click on the actual letter on the keyboard a a apple apple once you go through all the letters uh, that are present then it goes back naturally to the main menu but we'll take a shortcut now the next program is called four words this program actually gives your child a choice as to which word to pick? Four words. Nose. Okay, the what we are displaying now is a picture 
and your child is to pick the correct word. But let's say they pick the wrong one. What will happen is that it will actually show a picture of that word. Ice cream. Ice cream. Now I'm going to go through actual Rocky. all the words. There are 14 and these are all random. Hug. Eventually we cover all the letters that Otter. are contained in the first learning kit. All these, although this may be at different times that you run the program. X-ray. Leaf. Eat. Up. Slide. Green. Car. Oh. Now we're back at the main menu. The next program is the puzzle program. Puzzle. Apple. Bus. Car. So we display dance, all the words, but eat, we're going to skip that at fingers, this time. Green. But that would help familiarize your Quack. child with the, all the words that are going to be displayed on the screen. Now we want to make uh, click on the word that the picture represents. If we click on the correct word, Rocking. the word disappears and uh, starts showing part of the picture. If you click on the wrong word, it will say what that word is. Pot. Up. These are again are the same words that we use in the first learning kit. So your child's got a good reference of these words, although they may f at first look fairly complicated because your child's using it in audio tape and video tape and set of books. Uh, they're, they're the it's they're just more much more likely they're going to be able to recognize these words right off the bat. And by the way, again, we're reintroducing these words in all the other previous small programs that are in this. We'll go back to the main menu. Now we are going to display a small story. Each word is going to be highlighted. This one is about the artist Michael Johnson. Artist Michael Johnson. Artist Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson is an artist. Michael paints beautiful pictures of plants and animals. He paints very slowly and carefully. Michael paints a world where dogs and cats are best friends. So we also display some of Michael's artwork. There's also uh, the web address where you can see more of what Michael Johnson, a very talented young man uh, who happens to have Down syndrome. A very motivational uh, person. If you ever get a chance to see him, I, again, I would highly recommend taking a look at the website and to learn more about Michael. If we click on back, we are now back at the main menu. So although we've gone through these seven programs, we didn't go through all of them completely. So we still have time on the clock. But again, we've, we've got this so that it will shut down in a little less than 20 minutes, again, to keep this interesting for your child over a longer period of time. What happens when it does uh, actually meet the time limit, or if you click on All Done, uh, is this. All Done. Super! That's all for today. Hope you had fun. See you tomorrow. And finally, to exit the program, just type in the word quit, and the computer program exits. So you can see that a computer program can, yet, can be yet another avenue to teaching a child language and reading development. This computer program, as I said, teaches the same letters and words that's in our first learning kit. Our plans are 
to make more computer programs based on the other learning kits, but there's also the possibility of making math programs, foreign language programs, even sign language programs. It all depends on the amount of time that we have and the resources that we have available.